All right, what's going on you guys? Brian back here with another recap video. This one for this week's episode of AEW Dynamite. So let's just get right into it. Um, of course, there were th three big matches that had, that had been announced. Uh, not only last week, but weeks prior. And uh, those three were uh, Wardlow versus Cody inside of a steel cage. This was stipulation number three uh, in order for Cody to get his match uh, with MJF at Revolution. The other two were uh, basically involving the tag teams as far as the tag team championships are concerned. Uh, one was a battle royal, uh, a tag team battle royal with the winners Win the winning team facing the champions at Revolution a week from this Saturday um, live. Um, the other one was the tag team championships that's uh, being on the line as Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page defended against the Lucha Brothers, Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. And I'll get into that one in just a bit. Uh, the opening match was that tag team battle royal. You had a bunch of different teams. A uh, different rule as far as eliminations are concerned. I mean, it was still over the top rope. However, if one member of a team got eliminated, they would go back. The other, Their tag partner would stay. And that's how uh, they determined the winner. Uh, you had a bunch of teams in there. You had the Young Bucks, Private Party, uh, and Helico and Jack Evans. You had uh, Jurassic Express. You had SCU, Dark Order. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, the Best Friends. A slew of tag teams. The the uh, Butcher and the Blade. Um, it would come down to Matt Jackson and. Santana and Ortiz of the Inner Circle. Um, and Matt Jackson fought both of them off, eliminated both of them, and wound up getting the victory and earning the Young Bucks a shot at the Tag Team Championships a week from this Saturday at Revolution. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, coming out of that Battle Royal, also... Next week is going to be the Best Friends versus the Butcher and the Blade in a tag team match. So that's that came about because of interactions they had during this Battle Royal. Uh, we saw a women's match. A women's match. It was Chris Statlander taking on Sh uh, Shauna. Um, okay match. Uh Statlander picked up the win in this one. Uh, Britt Baker was on commentary for this matchup. Uh, even though they had advert they had said on social media that she was supposed to be in action, but she was on commentary and did not wrestle. Uh, we heard from the new AEW Women's Champion, Nyla Rose. Uh, she came out, basically cut a promo. Uh, she said she was the queen bee of the hive. Then Chris Statlander came out. Big Swole came out. Basically, both of them staring her down and basically like making their intentions known that they're coming. They're not going to be. They're not scared of her, and they're coming for the AEW Women's Championship. Uh, John Moxley took on Jeff Cobb, of course. Cobb, the hired hitman or the hired assassin uh, uh, for Chris Jericho uh, to try to take out Moxley before Moxley's uh, title match be against uh, the champion Jericho at Revolution. Um, Moxley would pick up the win. Then afterwards, Jericho Hager, or J uh, Jake Hager, and Sammy Guevara would come out of the crowd because they had tickets. Uh, they were in the front row, and they they came through um, out of the crowd into the ring, attacked Moxley. Dustin Rhodes would try to make the save. He would get beat down. 
Then we would see Darby Allen make his return. Uh, he went after the all three of them. Uh, that and it would end with, uh, by if I remember correctly, Moxley going after Jericho, and Jericho running away. So um, that was it for that building. Oh, heat towards Revolution in that world title match. Um, I could see them announcing Guevara versus uh, Darby Allen for Revolution as well because of what happened a few weeks ago when Guevara took Darby's uh, skateboard and drove it into his throat. Uh, we had, what else did we have? We had the tag title match, Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega defending against the Lucha Brothers. Of course, the winner of this one would, would face the Young Bucks at Revolution. And this was a really good tag match. Uh, back and forth. Either team could have walked out the victor. But in the end, it was Hangman Page and Kenny Omega retaining their championships. So at Revolution, a week from this Saturday, on February 29th, it is going to be Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega defending the AEW Tag Team Championships against uh, the Young Bucks for, and it's going to be a battle of the elite. Uh, they then announced a few uh, some matches for uh, next week. As I mentioned earlier, the one with the Butcher and the Blade taking on the Best Friends. And then they also announced that next week it is going to be uh, Kenny Omega versus Pac in the rubber match, a 30-minute Iron Man match. So that looks like that's going to be a good one. Uh, most falls at the end of the 30 minutes, wins the match, or is a draw, whatever you have to say. Usually in Iron Man matches, there are times when they go the full 30 minutes or they go the full hour, and they have, they're have they tied, and it basically comes down to a draw. But um, so uh, that was it for that one. They also announced Jericho and Moxley are going to have a weigh-in for before their big title match coming up at Revolution. Then we had Wardlow versus Cody in a steel cage. Uh, Wardlow, uh, pretty impressive. You know, a little bit. I mean, this was his first time, and you know that I that I've seen of him in the ring. Um, but he was, he did, he did a good job being the powerhouse in that matchup, dominating Cody. He busted Cody open, uh, there was, to where Cody was bleeding. Uh, MJF tried to get involved on a couple of occasions. Uh, this, I think one time, uh, Brandy hit, kept hitting, he was trying to climb up the, the side of the cage and Brandy uh, Cody's wife hit him with a steel chair and got him down and then Arn Anderson threw him over the barricade but um, in the end Cody hit a uh, went to the top of this top of the cage and hit a moonsault and that was enough to keep Wardlow down for the three counts so Cody gets his match against MJF at Revolution uh, a week from Saturday, so that's that is another huge matchup for that for that event. Uh, all in all, um, somewhat of a decent episode this week. Um, I did like the Cody versus Wardlow match. I thought the tag title match was great with Kenny Omega and Hangman Page versus the Lucha Brothers. Uh, of course, you know, Mox with Jericho attacking Moxley after Moxley defeated Jeff Cobb. That adds a lot of uh, build up to their match at Revolution. Um, the Battle Royal was so so, and the women's match was okay, and, and everything else on the show was, was, was so so. So, um, pretty much that does about it, that wraps it up. Uh, this has been my recap of what happened on AEW Dynamite on tonight's episode. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.